one of the really neat things about the NVIDIA Shield is that it supports HDMI CEC really well. So you can use your television remote to navigate the UI and you know do the things that you want to do. Um, how you enable CEC uh, depends a lot on the television and receiver or what equipment that you have. I'm going to quickly show how to do it with an LG television and a Denon receiver. Um, for the LG television, you want to hit this button, the gear button, and then go to all settings, general, and then go to the, this section here, and then make sure that you have that on. Um, and then this does something else, but uh, you can either leave that on or you can leave that off, it doesn't really matter. And then to do it for the receiver, you gotta go into the setup, so you push the setup button, go to video, HDMI setup, and then you wanna make sure that you have um, full HDMI CEC turned on. In this case, Denon calls it HDMI control, um, not that that's that you know a complicated thing to figure out. Uh, one thing that's really nice about Denon receivers, or at least this Denon receiver, is that this thing here, this TV audio switching, is an option, which is something that really frustrates me with a lot of televisions, is that they want to be first. So when they turn on, they send the HDMI CEC signal that says, make me the audio source, even if that's not what you want. Um, and in most cases, it's not what you want. Uh, and so it's nice that this, that the Denon has this feature, um, but that, that's, I digress a little bit. So once you make sure that that's turned on, then you'll want to confirm, and you'll notice I'm actually using this remote here to make it do stuff, that in the device preferences, display and sound, that power control, how these things are set up the way that you want them to, because this uses HDMI CEC to make some decisions around how the shield and the television and the receiver operate when power commands happen. So I'm gonna go back, and there's one other thing that is useful to look at, which is a volume control, which is to set this here the uh, CEC setting for volume control. Although I believe that's optional, I just have it turned on because why wouldn't I want that? Um, so I, th that's a great feature that requires almost no effort to turn it on. But I'm gonna show you here how we can take this to the next level using the uh, refresh rate app that I made another video for and I'll make sure that that's linked or shown or somehow configured to pop up here. Um, to, to make this HMI CC work even better for the shield. So you go to the refresh rate app, and again, it's important that you've already done the stuff that we did in the other video to turn on network debugging. Because what you can do here is get a lot more power out of the HMI CEC control to navigate the shield's um, UI more easily. So you want to turn this feature on, the HMI CEC thing, and then go down to these places here where this uh, is the on-screen display, which is the thing that lets you choose the different refresh rates manually. And what you can do here is you bind it to a key. So you go ahead and press whatever the OK button is on your and so I'm gonna go ahead and bind it to this green button here. And then it shows the, all the options for um, the, 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 the different display modes. So I'm gonna leave that at system default now because I don't really wanna change it. But now at any point you can press the green button and bring this up to flip the mode. So if you want to make the app, the refresh rate thing not work automatically, you wanna manually set it, that's how you would do it easily. So you're gonna leave that system default. And now this is one of the things that I really wish that was possible natively, which is to go home. I, I that's, When I'm in Netflix, I don't often like to go, or whatever app, 
going back through the app stack is kind of annoying. I really just want to go home and start over again. So here, again, we're going to grab it. And this time I'm going to bind it to the red button here on the remote. And then it takes me home. Now, it is kind of annoying that the app, the refresh rate app does the thing. Uh, so it binds it and does it. So you have to go all the way back here to do it. Um, but that is what it is. And it's a really neat thing that you can do. And you, so you, I haven't set these um, recent apps and the other things that are option are available here. Um, I just find that these two are the ones I really want, but they're, they are available. So hopefully you found this useful. Um, if you have any questions or comments or whatever, just leave them below and I will answer them as best I can. Thanks.